It's official. New comic book day is back. So today, March 27, 2020, was the first day that Marvel Comics has released new comic books. I know DC has trickled some out the past few weeks, but today, May 27th, 2020, is the is the day, in my personal opinion, where new comic book day is. Is back so during this shutdown for the past couple months a lot of the comic book companies the creator companies like your Marvel DC aftershock boom I mean just keep going on and on and on and on image they weren't releasing comic books during that time because one comic book shops were shut down two diamond distributors were shut down but don't worry it's back so today I went down to my local comic book store, I went down to Comic Carnival, which is located on Keystone Avenue on the north side of Indianapolis, Indiana. Make sure to check them out if you're local to the city. And I picked up my weekly new comic books. How good does that actually feel to say that, right? So to start this whole thing out, so I was going along all the new comic book wall and I saw this one on the wall. We have the trade paperback farmhand issues number one through five so this is the one comic book run that i have been collecting since the first issue and now we're at issue number 15 released today and uh, i think this is one of the best comic books uh, series for a while you know if you're into this kind of a genre so i went ahead picked up the trade paperback to go along with all of the complete run i have so far so super excited to finally see a trade paperback so the first actual new comic released today we're going to talk about is actually my favorite one that came out today. This is a comic that I think has a lot of future potential. It is from Aftershock Comics. It is Dead Day number one. I've actually already read through this entire comic. It is fantastic. If you're a fan of the zombie genre, you will like this comic. So to give you a little bit of a idea it is a zombie genre comic but with a twist the dead rise one day a year and but not all the dead rise only select dead will rise sometimes it's just to visit family that they miss other times it could be a vengeful zombie coming back to take revenge on something from their life so interesting comic book i think it has a lot of potential the actual read on this thing was it kept my attention the entire time. It it like developed characters pretty quickly within this book, and I can't wait till number two comes out. I read online it won't come out till like August. I hope it comes out sooner than August, but if it doesn't, I'll be ready for number two when it finally comes out. So definitely pick up Dead Day number one if you got the chance. I bought a second cover. And I got the one and I think it's the 15 variant cover. So I got a total of three of the dead day number ones. These were cover price. This one was $8 because it is the harder to get variant cover. So the collector in me got it because I love zombie comics. The speculator, the flipper in me got three of them just in case, you know, it goes up in value if it gets its own TV show someday. You never know, but this is my personal comic of the week, Dead Day number one. Check it out. Buy one. Buy one to read, buy one to keep in mint condition. Comic of the week. Comic number two actually came out last week to certain comic book shops that picked it up, but this is Disaster Inc. number one. And to be honest with you, I don't know much about this comic. I don't know much at all about this comic. But this was the variant cover, like a 1 or 10 or 1 to 15 variant cover. They had it there for $8. And uh, they had the normal cover there. I passed on it and just picked up the hard to get variant because if I have a choice, if I'm going to buy just one copy of a comic, I will always go for one of the harder to find variants. Just, that's just who I am. I like the variants. And then next, to go along with this one that came out, we have the new farmhand number 15 which is the newest issue in the farmhand series I haven't had a chance to look through this one yet but i'm sure it'll be a fantastic read because farmhand so far has been a great series if you're a fan of this genre of comic 
Check them out, 1 through 15. A lot of comic book shops still might have complete runs of this book, but if not, don't worry. The trade paperbacks are coming out. Next comic, in my opinion, is a must buy. It is a must pick up. If one, you're a Marvel fan. Two, you're a Venom fan. It is Venom number 25. I bought two covers of this. So from what I read online, it was said that this is kind of like the beginning of a new phase of Venom, if I understood it correctly. So this one is the first cameo appearance of the virus. They actually, Marvel has a lot of different covers of this comic. There's a bunch. One of the most sought after ones right now is the Funko style cover. That one is harder to find and is, I think, some for the most money right now. They had this variant cover right here, which uh, was like a 1 in 15 or actually, I think it might have been a 1 in 25 variant. They had it for 18 bucks and going rate on eBay actually was around 18 to 20 bucks. So I got it for pretty much the going rate. So I'm happy with that. And I was happy to get. A harder to find variant cover of Venom number 25. So if you like cameos, first appearances, you like Marvel or Venom, pick this one up this week. You won't regret it. So this next one I picked up is Avengers number 33. Pretty cool cover there with Moon Knight on the cover. Moon Knight will soon have his own Disney Plus TV series, so I'm looking forward to that quite a bit. And this one is the origin of Uru. I might have said that wrong. U R U Uru, which is the element of which Molnir is made. So that is the the Thor of or the Thor, the hammer of Thor. So from what I understand, from what I read, this has a new kind of an origin story of the element of Molnir. So it intrigued me. So I went and picked it up because I like comics that first appearance or something special like this, a retold something, a reimagining of an origin story. Maybe if I read it correctly. I might have read it wrong. We'll see. Next one I picked up was, what's the thing we call it? Star Wars Dr. Alpha. This was a limit of one per person. This is the first appearance of Ronan at Tag. I might have said that wrong. I don't know anything about this comic, but I collect first appearances. And Star Wars right now has been hot. The Kylo Ren series this year has been hot. So I went ahead, picked up Star Wars Dr. Alpha number one, which is the first appearance of Ronan Tag, if I'm saying it right. The next two I picked up, I actually, when I was there, I couldn't remember if I bought these or not, but this is the new Donny Cates Thor number three and Thor, or Thor number three and Thor number four. So I'm, I've been collecting the entire new Thor run that Donny Cates made. When I was there, I think I already had a cover to a Thor number three, but I wasn't sure. They had one, one copy left when I had picked it up, and I know for sure I do not have Thor number four. So I went ahead and picked up a copy of that because there are a few comics that I'm collecting the entire runs of, like the Farmhand, Red Mother, Thor. There's, there's a few of them. So I gotta keep my set going and get number four. So I will be on the hunt for any variant covers of this one if I can find it down the road. The next one that I have I actually already own a couple copies of it, okay? So this one, Sweetheart number one, I just love this cover of this. I have not read the story yet, but now since I have several, I probably will. But the first one I got was actually from the YouTuber Wink Inc. I reached out to him, he got one from a Mr. Buck, reached out to him and said, hey, can I pick it up? Sure. Then I found another cover, another copy of this elsewhere, and then they had one on the shelf today. And I was like, you know what? Let me get a third cover of this because I just, I really like the cover of this comic. So I think I've got three copies of this comic now, so hopefully it does something awesome in the future because I bought three of them, <laughs> but it's a number one. I collect number ones. The final comic I bought was the True Believers number one, the Savage She-Hulk, the first appearance of She-Hulk. Okay, this is not the, uh, the actual original comic. This is the ones that, that uh, Marvel makes that you can buy for only one dollar and i actually already have this comic graded a 9.8 by cgc 
that I picked up at a comic book show several months ago. It wasn't cheap, but I picked it up. I also have a raw copy of this from the original one that I got from a mystery box from Nerdy Girl Comics. Now, I, they saw this one there, and I'm actually going to read this one because my other two, oh, this one, the one that's graded, 9.8. I'm not reading it. It's graded by CGC. The other one that's raw, it's in pretty good shape. I don't want to read it. So I'm actually going to read this one because I got it for a buck. So that's everything I picked up at the comic book shop today. I think I spent around between 80 and 90 dollars while I was there. I also picked up more bags and boards and those probably cost me at least 20 bucks or so for several bags and boards. So I probably spent about $80 on all these comics. A new comic book day today was fantastic. I really enjoyed it. I enjoyed going back to one of my local comic book shops and actually shopping on the shelf, buying new release comics choosing the best covers, choosing which ones don't have any spine ticks on them, which ones have no bends, no creases, going back to the love of collecting comic books. So next week, I look forward to once again another new comic book day next week. So I'll see you then. Read what you like, collect what you like, buy what you like, no matter what. Enjoy comic books and support your local comic book shops. They need it right now very badly. Support your shops. I'll see you next time. I'm out. <laughs>